Hey guys, this is SCV Space Bub. I got for you a uh, another Tyson Star League game between uh, me, SCV Space Bub. I did spawn in the top right position of the uh, of a GSL map, Kravis. Kravis, not sure how to say it. It was my first time ever map playing on it, and I'm versing a Diamond Terran Xo. Who was put on the right opposite of me on the top? Uh, top. Why am I always mixing my tops and bottoms? It's a bottom left position. Uh, and I thought it was a pretty interesting game series that is a best of three. Now, I've never played this map before, I've never seen it before, and it was uh, my first time ever. So, my game was not to standard, however, I, I thought I'd done pretty well actually. And the next, and my opponent here, Diamond player, he's totally OP. All Diamond Mass players are obviously OP. It's a Terran versus Terran. I did go random for this game. I go random for all my games. Way hey for randoms. Uh, and TVT is actually one of my like medium, medium kind of things because it's not the best, not the worst either. So we both sent our scouts. Saw sending it to the top uh, left position. Me sending it to the Bottom right, so we both sent the wrong things first, and I think we will actually get it in a second go. Will we? Or will we not? I wonder. I'm not sure where he's going because he did, they didn't, didn't actually waypoint him. I always do, just do that, that, that. So, as you can see, stand open. I think mine was actually a tiny bit earlier. No, oh, his was earlier. Never mind. So, his was actually a bit earlier. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sloppy, and you know, I'm only a silver, maybe gold if you want to call it that player. So he does actually see my rocks. Uh, I really like the the fact that the rocks don't, don't actually block you off. So it's it's really quite fun. We actually see some SCD harassment coming in from Soul. My rocks has been done, and I'm not actually throwing down my first marine. I wanna I prefer to wait until I get my uh, orbital. I just throw down people in gas. I got my own awesome build. You know how how to be a retard basically. Uh, no one ever knows what the hell I'm, I'm doing. So here comes my command center late. I'm already at 200 flow medals and I don't know what I'm doing. We actually see a early expand coming in from uh, XO, which is fully uh, good in this map. You know, it's a solid strategy because it's just so huge rush distance. If I wanted to rush my first marine before I get it, it's gonna have fully saturated second base and like 20 plenty fortresses. It's just such a long distance. If I go to income tab, it's 16.15 for XO, and he does have a few uh, marines. He actually, he did actually pay, make the uh, tech lab. There is no gas. He's only double double refineries, and uh, this is actually a ridge based pin geyser. I find it so awesome since it's in none of the ladder game ladder maps. I don't know. I think Blizzard should put the ridge based pin geysers on some of the harder expos to get, but uh, that's just my personal insight on this. I do have my. Uh, one of my gases. I am getting my early early stem pack as always. I'm just throwing down a uh, reactor here. No expansion for me. I'm trying to just put on some pressure here. However, I don't see how you can put pressure. Thinking about it now, I don't see how I'm thinking of putting pressure on such a huge map. So I'm trying to go offensive kind of style and so just relies fully on macro so far. He has one racks. He's only numbered in the second ranks at his factory. And he does have his command center more than the orbital right now. So, so ahead here with his econ. If I go to income tab, uh, I'm actually got more workers. It's 2119, so he must have uh, slipped a bit on his macro. However, he does have uh, two bases being able to mule and two bases that actually can mine. So, he is ahead. I do have fortune minerals I could spend to get an extra of my own. I'm not doing it though. Because. You know, I'm thinking, what am I doing? What is this? Because of the map. So I'm just gonna blame it fully in the map so for my stupid gameplay. Uh, so we do see uh, that So is right now getting his reactor first. So he's gonna be trying to go for mass instead of early, uh, like, well, standard kind of stim or uh, the combat shields. He does have a lot of gas saved up, so he could throw down the tank. Uh, stem pack and the siege tech, which is what I'm expecting to see. 
However, there is no... There you go. Now he's just throwing open and unknown combat shields first. So he's going to be trying to go more defensively than offensively. Uh, and I'm only now throwing down my command center to like 38 supply, which is kind of crap. I'm still on the two racks, one of which is not even working. I'm thinking I missed like a cycle there. And we are actually both at pretty similar food. It's 4051, and I am throwing down a small bug of marines. However, I think before I get that, he might just about have this uh, siege tank done. Will a siege tank? Siege, siege tank is on the way. He does have a. I'm actually got my commissions on me as well as stim pack. And he does have two bunkers. We could have just more racks. We will see four racks uh, factory with no starboard as of yet. And I'm actually trying to destroy the rocks, I suppose. Yeah, I'm destroying the rocks. Instead of moving in before the tank sieges, I'm just casually go to destroy the rocks. And so here comes Xor's Marines, they see my Marines, and they just fall back. He does not want to take unnecessary risks since, since he does have two bunkers up and running right now. And uh, that's really bad play by me. I should have probably moved in by now. So I actually put in my factory right now. If I go to Income tab, it is 30 to 28 in favor of uh, our orange uh, orange player here. So I am falling behind them. I'm actually falling here quite a bit since he did drop down a few mules. So he is muling, and I don't think I'm muling that well. I do have enough energy for a mule times two. Uh, and I'm actually throwing them my factory with a uh, reactor first, because I am also getting my starport. I'm opting to go for uh, early medivacs instead of the uh, tanks. And this tank is just like uh, pretty much melted off most of my marines. Two, but two fully manned bunkers plus two t plus tank, siege tank. Uh, siege tank, not a siege tank. Uh, does totally outdo mass marines, well, not even a mass, a group of marines, stint marines. So I am falling back to my little home. I am just switching my fac my factory with my uh, with my staff, we'll get those medivacs, do some uh, long range drops, so just basically here, I'm not even sure what I was really doing this game. And here comes the staff, but I'm I should be queuing them up straight away. Am I doing that? No, I'm not. I'm just throwing down the tech lab on the uh, factory. And uh, I've just like done a huge transfer of SCVs here. Uh, by the way, guys, post down in the comments, because I'm not sure about this. Is the ri one rich Vespin guys are better than two normal ones? Because I don't think so. They just bring in like. They, those bring in four, this one brings seven, so it's not double. Uh, yeah, anyway, it was just kind of the, of the topic. So here comes two medivacs and a tank. Uh, we might see uh, So trying to get a third here. Or maybe just trying to open up an uh, alternative uh, road to attack. He does have two tanks. He has a bunch of uh, marines. No stim pack. Stim pack finishing like 20 cycles, 30 cycles. And he is moving in. I don't have any siege tanks of my own as of yet. I do have the other one. I'm actually supply blocked, which is probably the worst time to get supply block because there's a huge army coming. I think he has uh, one attack. Yes, one infantry attack has been done. Uh, if I go to his, yeah, he doesn't have any armor upgrades. So he actually has two medivacs as well. I got four since I made. Well, I got four because I made my earlier, of course. And we are both just trying to see. Well, he's trying to see what I'm gonna be up to. So we do see a third coming in for Xo. He didn't morph it I was in his base, so I'm thinking it's going to be a planetary fortress to make it easy to defend. And those marines did just get scared of my bunker here. So I'm not sure what he's doing in this base. I think his attention is at the attack though. Yes, he is constantly on the attack. His view has expired as well. You can see this on the screen here. So he did scan me, he did see my army, just come back now, I'm not interested in that. And he just destroyed my rocks, making sure he has a bit more space to actually run up this massive ramp. And I actually ran it in my medivac full of marines, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a full medivac there. That was a medivac full of marines, and ouch, that was painful. If I go to units lost, it is 17, 1000 worth of resources. To uh, two worth a hundred, so I am behind a lot. But the army itself here is not that big. But we do see a drop coming in. Uh, I think it's actually a station. Oh, there's a Marauder. So he has two 
two uh, things just get him dropped to add to my supply. I'm just building up like four supply depots and they both gonna get taken out by this drop so they got no turrets to actually uh, deal with this. I have one attack on Hybrid which might be able to uh, scare off the stack but he is concentrating down on, on my SCV so he already does a lot of economic damage and he is just timid and making sure he can do as much damage as possible. I do have my tank here. It is able to get a shot out, out of two. But since it doesn't have a lot of defense as such, then I'm not really going to be able to do much. I'm actually able to take on one of those many backs and just pick up the remaining marines. However, they've done so much damage. If I go to units to worker skill, if I can just remember which one it is. And yes, it is. It is 17 worker skilled Foxor. Only one for me. 34 units killed. Only 30 for me. I'm actually doing a counter drop at his base. And he has nothing to defend it. He's only now stemming a p bunch of uh, units back, so I I'm just falling back. Uh, and it's a teammate right now, but he does have a third, which is a planetary fortress, just I thought. And I'm still in two base, where with mules not being used and not really a lot of units. His units are on 1-1, one, one, I think. Yes, he does have one armor, one attack, minus zero, zero. All the same with siege tanks. Uh, and I'm just I'm just wondering right now why doesn't so move in? He could easily uh, do a drop in the back of my base and attack on two sides. He is good enough much to do that. He, he's I think he's a player in the round that he does have 10% handicap. As you can see, my marines got 55 health, his got 49. And uh since he bring out an SCB with gas, I think it was a misclick here because this it does have gas. Like some Vespin gas right in his hand here. Uh, Vespin. He comes additional tanks. It is 136 foods to 99. And here comes the partial. I do have tanks sieged. One of them is actually unsieged. He will be sieging right on my ramp. I just like steamroll and right through my Anagrid Marines. I do have more medibacks, but just not good enough. I need to siege this tank ASAP. Not running head first. He's actually gonna concentrate on, on the tank that siege, which is obviously a great idea. And I'm not sure if I can actually hold this up. I do have one more tank. I'm just gonna go down like butter. So, uh, so I did manage to win this game pretty easily, I suppose, because uh, I totally didn't know what I was doing. And I just love trying to blame him on the map, but it wasn't me. He did totally outplay me. Fair play to him. Uh, right now, I'm trying to hold off with like two Vikings and, you know, one Marine. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if. I don't know, did I make some medical comeback? No, I do call it GG and I, I am leaving the game because I just go outplayed by a diamond player. However, it is a best of three. As I said, I have won a game two. Or oh, have I? So you will see this game two coming up. It was SCV Space Burb.